Hey guys, Antron I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today is the Redstone Experiment Episode 3, and I know it's been quite a while since I've made one of these because I just haven't had any ideas for an experimentation that I wanted to do, but today I am going to be experimenting with a different kind of combination lock in Minecraft, and it's not the one you actually see in front of you here, it's this one that's over here, and this one that's right here, and uh, yeah, you can make some really, really compact combination locks with this, uh, with this design that I made. I'm not sure if I am the inventor of the design, but I'll go ahead and I'll get into it here in just a second and excel over there trapped in that jail cell over there is Awaiting for me to get over there to unlock them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to launch right into it here uh, We are gonna start experimenting with combo locks So to know how a combo lock in Minecraft works You need to know about the RS nor latch otherwise known as the memory cell and basically that's what this is right here uh, if I go ahead and I hit this button right here these two are going to flip-flop, and basically what that means is that it's storing one bit of data. It's storing, let's just pretend like this one right here, it's either going to be storing on or off. So if I hit the button right here, now it's storing on, this one is storing off. So each each bit of redstone and each torch is storing a bit of information based off of which button is pushed on what side. So the way that can be made into a combination lock is, as you can see here, I have, I have one right here, basically where, where every bit of sandstone is, is a different uh, RS nor latch. So you can see this one and this one are connected up in that way. So are these two and then so are these two and then it hooks up to this door that is at the end here. So if I go ahead and I hit this button right here, it's going to kick up this piece of redstone right here. It's going to flip this all around and it's gonna turn this back line off. Now you might be wondering, what's all of this extra redstone in the back here? Well, this doesn't al th this is the redstone that makes it so that you can't press the buttons out of order uh, well you can spam the buttons but you can't immediately press them out of order like I couldn't push one two three to activate the combination because the combination for this is three two one so if I go ahead and I hit one here well the door opens and closed because I didn't add any redundancy for that but I did at the end one over there and I'll show you guys it here in just a second but if I want to get the combination right I go ahead I hit two and then I hit one, and now the door is going to stay open properly. So this is how a typical combination lock would work, but the reason why I need to experiment with these combo locks is because I needed to make a more compact one for a map that I was working on. It's actually not my map, it's a friend of mine's, uh, it's a survival games map, and I wanted to make a combination lock that could fit like in a really compact space underground. I didn't want to work with a ton, you know, a really big area or anything like that. So I designed this RS Norlatch right here. Again, I'm not sure if I am the person who invented this, but basically I needed to make a vertical RS nor latch so I could string them together in a really compact fashion. So as you can see here, as I explained before, that uh, those bits right there will ho either hold a redstone signal on or off, and this one will do the exact same thing. So if I hit the button right here, this bottom, uh, this one turns off, and then these two bits turn off, and then this turns on, and if I go ahead and I hit this one, it, it flips. So it does literally the exact same thing as that one over there in a much more compact uh, much better design so the way that I've set up a combination lock right here this is another three button combination lock here uh, this one actually has a reset switch attached to it as well and this one does as well so I probably should hit the reset switch right here and then you can see it resets it right there and the redstone back here that locks the whole thing in place uh, well, it gets locked, so that door gets closed. But if you guys don't understand the locking mechanism that I just explained, you're probably going to understand it here because it makes a lot more sense. It makes so much more sense in this new design. This is such, I don't know, just in my opinion, it's a much better design. So let's just say, because the combination lock on this one is also three, two, one. If I hit the second button first, you can see that this right here, you notice how the top bit of redstone doesn't actually activate. And if I go ahead and I do this here, Notice how the door here doesn't open uh, just like that. You see, if you if I hit the first button right here, this whole thing opens because I have it set up in such a way that just doesn't quite work. But it's a lot a lot harder to mess it up with this design. So as you can see here, like I said before, if I hit the button, just doesn't work. So what I need to do is I need to hit three, and that's going to turn this line off, and it's going to turn this repeater off. And then again, if I were to hit the first one. This doesn't. This whole system doesn't change because it's being locked. This top row right here is being locked on by the previous row. So the second button is locking the first button, so it can't be used. So if I hit two right here, the whole thing flips. And then if I hit one right here, the whole thing flips, and then this turns on. And it is turning nighttime here, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to set, uh, time set day here. So yeah, so that's basically how that works. If I wanted to rearrange the combination, I could just destroy these buttons. 
uh, crisscross the redstone and then add another set of buttons or something and then I could make the combination one two three or two one three or two three one or two one three I think I already said that you can make it whatever you wanted within those three buttons so now let's go ahead and let's take this to a large scale this right here is a nine button combination lock that has a reset switch and an enter switch so as you can see there Excel is locked inside of that jail there he is swinging he wants to get out he has been imprisoned by the super flatlanders and he wants to get out so what we're gonna do here is we are going to well first I'm gonna show you guys how this works and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to enter the combination to let him out so if you see right here you notice that uh, these are strung together just like this to make the three button combination lock well as you can see here there's one two three four five six seven eight repeaters which makes this a nine button lock so if you were to ignore all of the redstone that's crisscrossing right here and you were just to look at this bit right here you could see that it looks very much like what's over there and it has the same basic elements in it if I go ahead and I hit something like the one key here which is actually the uh, the sixth button in line you notice that that goes over there or no it's the very last one in line it looks like um not sure oh oh yeah the the one is actually down here I'm, if you look at your numerical uh if you look at your numerical key setup on your keyboard, if you have one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's how I have it arranged. So number one down here actually hooks up to that one right there, but it won't do anything because it's all locked by the previous line that's right here. And this is being turned off by this torch right here because I just wanted to make the reset uh, mechanism really compact. So. Okay, let me show you guys the little wall back here. This is just a mess of a wall that allows this whole thing to be hooked up in a compact manner. Most people would make something like this, uh, like they would spit, put a one block space between every single button, but I wanted to do it hardcore style. I wanted to do it like this, and it works perfectly. So the combination for this combination lock that you see right here, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you guys this as I'm hitting the buttons, is 9. So that over there turns off, then it's 8, and then it's 6 and then three and then two and then one and then it's gonna be four and then there's two more left five and then the last one in line is seven so now the basically now that this whole system is unlocked I've put in the entire combination you notice the door hasn't opened yet and that's because again as I said before I've hooked all of this up to an enter reset switch so that's what this little mechanism right here, I believe this is called an AND gate and basically what that means is that both of these torches on the top need to be off in order for this one to turn on and for the door to open. So basically all I need to do now is I need to hit the enter reset switch that is at the end there. It's going to open the door, it's going to keep it locked open and then it's going to reset the entire mechanism as we see fit. He really wants to get out of that jail. L jail. Yeah. <laughs> So anyways, what I'm going to do now, I want you guys to pay attention to that right over there. You're going to notice that torch turn off, that one turn on, and then the whole thing's going to reset. And the only reason why the door is going to stay open is because I have it hooked up to another RS Norlatch, another memory cell, which is going to put a signal into this, and then it's going to output to the door, which is going to open it. So let's go ahead and let's see if I can get to the end of the line here. Uh, the enter button is actually right here. So again, try and keep an eye out for that area downrange. So there you go, you can see the whole thing reset. It, uh, it activated this switch right here, which activated this RS Norlatch, and as you can see, the whole system has flipped, and it has, it has opened the door, which has allowed Excel to roam free back to the village that is way over there. I'm not sure if he wants to go home. Maybe he's too used to being a prisoner. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my, uh, my, you know, my combination lock in a nutshell. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I am the first person to design this kind of a combination lock, but I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to show you it here in a video because again, I didn't have the assistance of anyone else or any video or anything like that when designing this. I just kind of... I just kind of had an idea and I went with it and I wanted to show you guys, you know, sort of like the mind of the maker type process in which it takes to make something like this. Um, so yeah, I hope I have explained this as simply as possible. I hope you guys have understood. If you guys haven't, um, well, here's how I, I, maybe I could provide this as a download. Maybe I should. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to provide this as a download because the spawn points right here, I'm going to provide this map as a download. You guys can pay attention to the red or you guys can take a look at all the redstone that you want, you know, debug it the way you guys see fit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, well, I reset it before, but now I'm going to reset the door because I want the door now to be off. 
So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Um, Ant House of Torture. Even though there's nothing in there. You want to see torture. Here we go. We'll do this. Yeah. There we go. Lava. Bam. There you go. You you want to go in there? You you want to go in there, Excel? You want to have fun? You want to have fun? You want to go in there? You want to go in there? <laughs> let's go ahead and let's close it on him. Bam. Now it's, now it's real torture. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it for him. But anyways, guys, again, I hope you all have understood this. If you haven't, feel free to check out the map. The download link is going to be in the description below. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, my name is Ant Venom. His name is Excel, a uh, guy I did survival with recently. I probably should have explained that. Did a, I did a survival video with him uh, recently, so I'll put that at the uh, end of the video with the thumbnails. So anyways, my name is Ant Venom. His name is Excel. And we bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.